I'm just your sexy aunt that comes over for the holidays and doesn't have kids. Merry Christmas. What's up nerds? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. If you're new here, I hope your day is going well. And today we're going to do something that I never thought I would ever do. Well, here's the thing. I don't think I ever even anticipated this being part of my channel because reasons. Um, but the funny part about this video, as I'm sure you can tell from the title, um, we are going to be reading a Harry Potter fan fiction. Nay, maybe the Harry Potter fan fiction if you get my drift. But the funny part about this year is that as we are here, we're doing this Christmas video that I do every year. Um, or just like a kind of a special thing for everybody, um, including myself. But uh, the funny part about this video is that at the beginning of the year, I read a Harry Potter fan fiction. And if you know me like more personally, I guess, I don't read fan fiction all that often. No hate towards it. I completely get the concept, um, but I just don't really read it all that often. Uh, but I read a Harry Potter fan fiction at the beginning of this year. I think it was like over 300,000 words. It's called Mangled, I think. Um, and if you've read that, <laughs> You may know a lot about me because I literally found it because of a TikTok and have read all of it in a weekend. I've heard about My Immortal, but I have never read it. I don't know much about it other than about uh, Ebony, Darkness, Dementia, Raven, Way. I know about her vaguely um, and I've got it open up on my screen. I don't know how much we'll read today, um, but it's going to be an interesting experience for all of us. So let's just go ahead and dive in, shall we? I'm going to basically be reading out loud. I did this to another video um, a while ago. I will promise I will link it up here. Editing, processing, Maddie, please do that. Um, where I read a, a book called The Haunted Puss Puss, um, which I cannot explain to you what that means in this video because otherwise it will definitely get demonetized. I have a feeling this might get demonetized too, but who knows? We'll find out, I guess. Without further uh, ado, as I've already said, let's start reading. Chapters one and two. Special thanks, fangs, get it? C Cause I'm im gothic to my GF, ew, not in that way, Raven Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the story and spelling. My name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Way, and I have long ebony hair. That's how I got my name, with purple streaks and red tips that reach my mid-back mid and icy blue eyes like limpid tears and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. And if you don't know who she is, get the hell out of here. I'm not related to Gerard, Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking You want to be related to him? I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I have pale white skin. I'm also a witch, and I go to a magic school called Hogwarts in England. While I am in the seventh year, I'm 17. I'm a goth, in case you couldn't tell. And I wear mostly black. I love Hot Topic, and I buy all my clothes from there. For example, I was wearing a black corset with matching lace around it, and a leather black miniskirt, pink fishnets, black combat boots. I was wearing black lipstick, white foundation, black eyeliner, and red eyeshadow. That's a lot, bro. I was walking outside Hogwarts. It was snowing and raining, so there was no sun, which I was very happy about. A lot of preps stared at me. I put up my middle finger at them. <laughs> I'm feeling very red. Should I change my shirt? I think we're just going to have to deal with the fact that I've already had a couple of sips of wine. And when I have a couple of sips of wine, sometimes I flush. Hey, Ebony, shouted a voice. I looked up. It was dot dot dot. Draco Malfoy. What's up, Draco? <laughs> I asked. Nothing, he said shyly. But then I heard my friends call me and I had to go away. Ayan, is it good? Please tell me. Thanks. Chapter two. Ayan, thanks to Bloody Tears 666 for helping me with the chapter. By the way, prep stop flaming my story, okay? The next day I woke up in my bedroom. It was snowing and raining again. I opened the door of my coffin and drank some blood from a bottle I had. My coffin was black ebony and inside it was a hot pink velvet with lace on the ends. I got out of my coffin and took of my giant MCR t-shirt, which I used for pajamas. Instead, I put on a leather black dress, a pentagram netflix, necklace, combat boots, and black fishnets on. I put on a, four pairs of earrings in my pierced ears and put my hair in a kind of messy bun. My friend Willow, Ayan, Raven, this is you. 
mm. woke up and then grinned at me. She flipped her long waist length raven black hair with her pink streaks and opened her forest green eyes. She put on her Marilyn Manson t-shirt with a black mini, fishnets, and pointy high-heeled boots. We put on our makeup, black lipstick, white foundation, and black eyeliner. OMFG, I saw you talking, that is not the accent I'm gonna go with. OMFG, I saw, why is she Southern? OMFG, I saw you talking to Draco Malfoy yesterday. She said excitedly, yeah. So I said, blushing. Do you like Draco? She asked as we went out of the Slytherin common room and into the great hall. No, I so fucking don't, I shouted. Yeah, right, she exclaimed. And then just then Draco walked up to me. Hi, he said. Hi, I replied flirtily. Guess what? He said, what? I asked, well, good Charlotte are having a concert in Hogsmeade, he told me. What? Oh my fucking God. I screamed, I love GC. They're my favorite band besides MCR. Well, do you want to go with me? I gasped. Next. Chapter three, A.N. Is it A.N.? I don't know anything about fan fiction. Stop flaming the story perhaps, okay? Otherwise, fangs to the gothic po people for the good reviews. Fangs again, Raven. Oh yeah, by the way, BTW, I don't own this or the lyrics for good Charlotte. Draw it. <laughs> On the night of the concert, I put on my black lace-up boots with high heels. Underneath them were ripped red fishnet. Honestly, she's got like a fucking style and she dedicates to it. And for someone who does not look like this ever, except when I'm filming my videos, um, I, I, um, I appreciate the level of dedication that she, uh, she goes to. There was actually this girl in my high school who she did that like crazy hair. I'll try and get a picture of it. Um, that goth hair every single fucking day. Um, and uh, the school newspaper did an interview with her and I never talked to her. I was way too scared. And she said that she went through at least three to four bottles of hairspray. And this was like around the time where people were like, hairspray puts an oz like a, a hole in the ozone. Um, but she went through three or four bottles of hairspray a week. And apparently people would just come up to her and grab her hair because it was like, it was in that style every day and people just have no boundaries. That sidetrack out of the side, let's keep going. Uh, I put on matching fishnet on my arms. I straightened my hair and made it look all spiky. I felt a little depressed then, so I slipped. Oh, okay. I read a depressing book while I waited for it to stop. I listened to some GC. I painted my nails black and put on tons of black eyeliner. And then I put on some black lipstick. I didn't put on foundation because I was pale anyway. Me too, bitch. Except for when I'm drinking wine, like right now. Just don't look at my neck. This is what I get for wearing anything slightly revealing. My body's like, no, don't perceive me. I drank some human blood, so I was ready to go to the concert. We're just gonna skip right past that. Oh, is she a vampire? I forgot. I'm a vampire, but my teeth are straight and white. I went outside. Draco was waiting there in front of his flying car. He was wearing a Simple Plan t-shirt. They would play at the show too. Now, is this a festival? Bang black skater pants, black nail polish, and a little eyeliner. Ian, a lot for cool boys, were it okay? Huh? Hi, Draco. Oh, <laughs> I said in a depressed tone. Let me do that again. Hi, Draco. <laughs> Hi, Ebony, he said back. We walked into his flying black Mercedes Benz. The license plate said 666 and flew to the place where the concert with the concert. On the way, we listened excitedly to Good Charlotte and Marilyn Manson. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. We both smoked cigarettes and drugs. We smoked the drugs. What were those drugs? No idea. When we got there, we both hopped out of the car. We went to the mosh pit at the front of the stage and jumped up and down as we listened to Good Charlotte. You come in cold. What? Well, I'm not gonna read the lyrics. You guys know the lyrics. Joel is so fucking hot, I said to Draco, pointing to him as he sung, filling the club with his amazing voice. Suddenly, Draco looked sad. What's wrong? I asked as we mushed, mushed, mushed to the music. Then I caught on. Hey, it's okay. I don't like him better than you, I said. Really? Asked Draco, sensitively. <laughs> and he put his arm around me. Oh, protective. Really? I said. Besides, I don't even know Joel, and he's going out Hillary fucking Duff. Wow, this is a while ago. Holy fuck, I'm old. I fucking hate that little bitch. <laughs> I said disgustedly, thinking of her ugly blonde face. Fun fact. This is like all such a blast from the past because I remember not liking Hillary Duff, not for the reasons that Ebony doesn't like Hillary Duff, um, but I love the fact that this just, it feels like a nostal nostalgia, piece from my 
between years um, and I never read it. It feels like a time capsule. This is amazing. The night went on really well and I had a great time. So did Draco. After the concert, we drank some beer and asked Benji and Joel for their autographs and photos with them. We got GC concert tickets. Keys, no, tickets, what? <laughs> Draco and I crawled back into the Mercedes Benz, but Draco didn't go back into Hogwarts and instead he drove the car into the Forbidden Forest. It's a Christmas tree. Chapter four, A.N. I said, stop flaming, okay, Ebony's name. It's Anobi, not Mary Sue, okay? Draco is so in love with her that he is acting different. They knew each other before, okay? Can someone translate? I don't know what the fuck that means. Draco, I shouted. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Draco didn't answer, but he stopped flying the car and walked out of it. I walked out of it too. Curious, did he land the car? Was it flying? I'm confused. What the fucking hell? I asked angrily. Ebony, he asked. What? I snapped. Draco leaned in extra close. They looked into his gothic red eyes. He was wearing color contacts, which revealed so much depressing sorrow and evilness. And then suddenly, I didn't feel mad anymore. And then, dot, dot, dot. Suddenly, just as I, Draco kissed me passionately. Draco climbed on top of me and we started to make out keenly against a tree. He took off my top and I took off his clothes. I even took off my bra and then he put his thingy into my you know what and we did it for the first time. Oh, 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 I screamed. I was beginning to get an O word. We started to kiss everywhere and my pale body became all warm and then what the hell are you doing, oh, you motherfuckers? It was Dumbledore. What have I been missing out on? Why didn't you guys tell me I should have read this ages ago? Chapter five. Stop flaming. If you flame, it means you are a prep or a poser. The only reason Dumbledore swore is cause he had a hit egg, okay? And on top of that, he was mad at them for having sex. P.S. I'm not up a dating until, until I get five good revolves. Dumbledore made and Drake what? And Drake what? Hmm. I follow him. He kept shouting at us angrily. You ludicrous fools! He shouted. I'd be giving them British accents. I started to cry tears of blood down my pallid face. Draco comforted me. When we went back to the castle, Dumbledore took us to Professor Snape and Professor McGonagall, who were both looking <clears throat> very angry. They are having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest, he yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? That's not a fucking accent. What was that? I asked, prof asked Professor McGonagall. How dare you, demanded Professor Snape. And then Draco shrieked, because I love her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone was quiet. Dumbledore and Professor McGonagall still looked mad, but Professor Snape said, fine, very well, you may go up to your rooms. Draco and I went upstairs while the teachers glared at us. Are you okay, Ebony? Draco asked me gently. Yeah, I guess, I lied. I went to the girls' dorm and brushed my teeth and my hair and changed into a low-cut black floor-length dress with red lace all around it and black high heels. The dedication to serving absolute C-N-T is amazing. I want to be her when I grow up. When I came out, dot, 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 Draco was standing in front of the bathroom and he started to sing, I just want to live by Good Charlotte. I was so flattered, even though he wasn't supposed to be there. We hugged and kissed. After that, we said goodnight and he reluctantly went back to his room. Chapter six. Should it? Up, uh, perhaps. Okay, P.S. I will not update up till you give me good revolves. I woke up in my coffin. I put on a black miniskirt that was all ripped around the end and a matching top with red skulls all over it and high-heeled boots that were black. I put on two pairs of skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I spray painted my hair purple. In the Great Hall, I ate some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk and glass of red blood. Double fist in the red blood, I guess. <laughs> Just pretend I didn't say that. Suddenly, someone bumped into me. All the blood spilled over my top. Bastard! I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up because I was looking at the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. Ooh, we've got another love interest. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. He was wearing so much eyeliner that I was going down his face. What? 
he was wearing black lipstick. He didn't have glasses anymore. And now he was wearing red contact lenses, just like Draco's. And there was no scar on his forehead anymore. He had a manly stubble on his chin. He had a sexy English accent. Technically, every one of them is supposed to have a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joel Madden. He was so sexy that my body went all hot when I saw him, kind of like Only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one, you sicko. I'm so sorry, he said in a shy voice. That's all right. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Eric Potter. <laughs> Although most people call me Vampire. The woman was too stunned to speak. How have I never read this? A popcorn made my tongue orange. Why? I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood. <laughs> Okay, sidetrack again. When I was in eighth grade, my first ever boyfriend, who we literally never hung out like outside of school, like we just texted. He like a month after the like twilight craze started happening, decided to tell everyone that he was a vampire. And like, he sent me these like really shady links. This is a real story, by the way. Like this guy legitimately thought that he was like a emotion vampire. Um, I really hope he doesn't watch my YouTube channel because it's gonna be really awkward um, if he doesn't want that information. Well, it's not like anybody else would know. If there's anybody who watches me that went to middle school with me, either DM me privately or leave a comment down below because if you remember this situation, that was weird as shit and it was, it was odd. Um, but yeah, someone literally was like, I'm a vampire when I was in school. And I was like, I'd, I'm a head out. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> because I love the taste of human blood. He giggled. <laughs> well, I am a vampire. I confessed, really? He whimpered. Yeah, I roared. What the fuck is this? We sat down to talk for a while. Then Draco came up behind me and he told me he had a surprise for me, so I went with him. Okay, we're gonna read one more page and then I'm gonna be done, okay? I think I might spontaneously combust at this point. Chapter seven, bring me to life, A.N. Well, okay, you guys, I'm only writing just cause I got five God reviews. In BTW, I won't write the next chapter till I get 10 good vons. So, Flamin' or I'll ill report you. Evany isn't a Mary Sue, okay? She isn't perfect. She's a Satan... What? A Satananitz. A Satanitz. And she has problems. She is... She's depressed, for God's sake. Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing red Satanist sings on my nails and red nail polish. What? A N. See, does that sound like a Mary Sue, a Maru Sue to you? That jokes, don't you? I waved to Vampire. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Ooh, ooh, is Draco the center of the triangle? The, the fucking what? <laughs> anyway, I went upstairs excitedly with Draco. We went into his room and locked the door. Then we started Frenching passively. I don't know how you do that. And we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. He felt me up before I took of my top and then I took off my black leather. Leather? Ma'am, you're wearing a leather bra? That's gotta be awfully hot. And he took off his pants. We went on the bed and started making out naked. And then he put his boy's thingy in mine and we had sex. Someone is brilliant, and now I understand why there is so much information about this fanfiction online. It's so camp, and so ridiculous, and so 2003. Wow. Oh, Draco, Draco, I screamed while getting an O word, when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it, on it, and bloody gothic writing were the words, VAMPIRE! I am so glad this was what the decision was. I was so angry. You, 
bastard, I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. No, no, but you don't understand, Draco pleaded. But I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot. Disgusting. I'm not gonna read the next line because it's very problematic. But just so you know, I'm taking back a lot of the compliments I've given this so far. But I will say that this was written, obviously, approximately at least a decade and a half ago. So I will understand why that that's there, but it's still not okay. I put on my clothes all huffily and then stomped out. Draco ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what, but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker, I yelled. Chapter 8. Again, stop flashing, okay? If you do, then you are a pip. What the fuck is flashing? Everyone in the class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room, even though he was naked, and started begging me to take him back. The fucking drama. I am living for this. Ebony, it's not what you think, Draco screamed sadly. My friend, but a luddy, <laughs> Mary Smith, really? <laughs> smiled at me understatedly. She flipped her long, waist-length gothic black hair and opened her crimson eyes like blood that she was wearing contact lenses on. What's with the contact lenses? Is there like a contact lens sponsor going around Hogwarts? She had a pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. What did he say? <laughs> what is Hermione? Is Hermione bloody smooth? I'm so confused. Her real parents are vampires and one of them is a witch, but Voldemort killed her mother and father committed what you said died because he was depressed about it she still has nightmares about it and she is very haunted and depressed it also turns out her real name is smith not granger since she was converted to satanism she is in slytherin now not gryffindor gryffindor what what is it that you desire you ridiculous dimwit snape demeaned angrily in his cold voice but i ignored him vampire i can't believe you cheated on me with draco What? Everyone gasped. I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with Vampire. I'm bi and so is Ebony. Wait, I'm so confused. Is this Draco's POV? Is this Harry's POV? I'm very confused. So this is Draco, right? For a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because I liked, he liked Brittany, a stupid preppy fucker. We were just good friends now. He had gone through a horrible problems and now he was gothic. Haha, -ha. I would like, I would hang out with a prep. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. Yeah, fucking right. Fuck off, you bastard. I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the Forbidden Forest where I lost my virility to Draco. And then I started to burst into tears. What the fuck? All right. There is, I think, only one more chapter left for what we're going to do today. Because I already have 30 minutes of footage. So chapter nine. Ayan, stop flaming, okay? I didn't tin, I didn't tin, read all of the books. This is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. Buswids. I said he had a headache and the Russian snap doesn't look hairy now is cause he's Christian and vampire is a Satanist. MCR rocks. Yeah. Who's Christian? I was so mad and sad. I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. Then how do you know it's the same tree? Why is this what I'm getting confused by? Then all of a sudden, an horrible man with red eyes and no nose, oh, it's Voldemort, got it. And everything started flying towards me on a broomstick. He didn't have a nose, basically like Voldemort in the movie. And he was wearing all black, but it was obvious he wasn't gothic. It was Voldemort. No, I shouted in a scared voice, but then Voldemort shouted, Imperious, and I couldn't run away. Crookshanks, I shouted at him. Voldemort fell off his broom and started to scream. I felt bad for him, even though I'm a sadist, so I stopped. What the fuck? Ebony, he yelled, thou must kill Vampire Potter. I thought about Vampire and his sex eyes and his gothic black hair and how his face looked just like Joel Madden. I remember that Draco had said he didn't, I didn't understand. So I thought, what if Draco went out with Vampire before I went out with him and they broke up? No, Voldemort, I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting more red as this is this is going on. Not less red. This is great. This is this is 
This is fantastic. I just look like the Christmas tree at this point. How about that? If thou does not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. No, please, I begged. How did you know? I asked in a surprised way. Voldemort got a dude, you're so R word look on his face. I hath telekinesis, he answered cruelly. And if you doth not kill vampire, then thou know what will happen to Draco, he shouted. Then he flew away angrily on his broomstick. I was so scared and mad, I didn't know what to do. Suddenly, Draco came into the woods. Draco, I said, hi. Hi, he said back, but his face was all sad. He was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner, kind of like a pentagram. Between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Are you okay? I asked. No, he answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on me. I expelled. That's okay, he said all depressed, and we went back into Hogwarts together, making out. We're gonna put this away. Not drop my laptop. Okay, so, um, that was my immortal. Merry fucking Christmas, you filthy animals. I'm gonna go now, guys. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Bye! Popcorn hands. That was a fucking great plan, Eddie. <laughs> oh my god.